Hey, I, I just want to drop this video real quick to better demonstrate what I was asking in the forums. Um, I mentioned I'd been doing a lot of hand modeling, and although there's tremendous variation, you know, male to female, child to adult to elderly to dry cracked laborer's hands to hands of the bourgeois, um, I find that there's a few things that I have to do with just about every model that comes out of Z-Spheres in any pose. And so I'm hoping somebody can help me address those so I can build a little better model initially to save myself some time in the back end. Now, I should say that I know a lot of people use Z-Spheres as a very rough model, and then they come in and do a lot of work in the sculpting phase. Um, for me, coming from more of a sculpting 3D background, I'd rather take a few extra minutes in the initial wireframe uh, to, to hit on some characteristics that other artists might not get to later. And, and then I would emphasize or de-emphasize those throughout the finishing phases. Um, it's just the way I like to work. It's no big deal. But, um, you know, and, and frankly, z series is so quick that, you know, you can take an extra 20 minutes in there and do some things that you might spend twice as long modeling, um, you know, if you go through on each finger, um, circumference of a finger, things like that. But anyway, that's just my experience. But with that said, so I, I, like, to, I like to have nice, tidy Z-Sphere models. Now, if you look at my Z-Sphere model as it is, uh, it probably doesn't look at all organic or natural or maybe even like a hand. Um, the thumb is set way back. Uh, the pinky is exaggerated. But when I throw up my mesh, now you see what's happening. You see what I'm going for here, right? Um, I should say that this posture is exaggerated and not one that you see the hand in too often, but I thought this model would really demonstrate um, the problem that, that I'm talking about. So um, I if you check it out, you see what I'm after. You see I'm us actually using that Z-sphere right there. To, that's going to be my palm, right? I'm going to build up on that and the other side of the palm I'm going to have to build. But that's, that, that's probably the main issue I is right in this area, and that is simply because of anatomy. If you look at the way Z-spheres are laid out, or the way I understand them, and again, this is where I'm hoping for some insight, um, all of my digits and my opposing thumb are all anchored on this one Z-sphere. If you look at your hand, what's actually happening is your index finger and middle finger come down and are pretty much anchored into your radius, which is the bone right off your thumb whereas your ring and pinky are coming down and are pretty much anchored in your ulna. Every model, no matter how I build it or the position I build it, ends up with my having to tweak these two fingers so that they come down. 